humanity's most abstract form of energy is money. And it was that that enabled us to build the largest supercomputer in the world, which was Bitcoin. It's a thermodynamic computer. It's just using an abstract representation of thermodynamics, which is money, um, and stitches together all of these resources. So I thought, hey, well, we can do that. We can do that for artificial intelligence. Let's try to do that. Bitcoin became the largest specific compute network in the world because of two things, aligned incentives and open competition. Those two principles produce superior outcomes to what can be achieved through traditional centralized organizations, right? Like the number of Bitcoin miners, the number of Bitcoin contributors, holders will outnumber any institution that can try to like harness that many individuals. And that same thing applies to, again, like an AI network. How does BitTensor work? Wow, that's a, that's a big question to start with. I would go back a little bit and think about the organizing force of cryptocurrencies. If we take Bitcoin, for example, all of that work to secure the network, timesing very, very complex numbers together, is essentially wasted the moment it's completed, except for the security element. The very simple answer for BitTensor is what if we took that immense amount of compute, which is equivalent to somewhere between 100 to 200 terawatt hours, which is somewhere between 12 to 24 nuclear power stations of energy to supply it, which is about the energy use of, of a mid-sized European country. And what if we used all of that work for the creation and provision of intelligence? What if instead of timesing large numbers together, we ran AI models and created inference? We trained models, we stored data. And what if you combine these two elements of the demand for intelligence and the market organizing forces of, of blockchains together? That's what BitTensor is. When you get right down to it, BitTensor is an incentive alignment engine. Uh, just abstract everything else away, that's what it is. When you look at what Bitcoin is, it's the same thing. Right, so it worked really well once. What if we took that concept and abstracted it across lots of different digital domains? AI being the biggest one in BitTensor today, um, but any sort of digital commodity could also benefit from the lessons of Bitcoin. It does this by incentivizing a network of miners to produce that digital commodity to the highest quality the fastest and with the lowest amount of compute and latency. And miners are in constant competition with each other, trying to create better and better outcomes for this specific digital commodity. The best miner gets paid the most, the worst miner gets booted from the network and a new one comes in. It's true digital Darwinistic competition at its finest. BitTensor has the exact same emission schedule as Bitcoin itself. There's only 21 million coins total ever. And like Bitcoin, these new coins that are born are given to whoever is providing the most value to the BitTensor network at that time, right? Which subnet, and not only which subnet, but which miners on that subnet are producing the most value. There's 256 miners per subnet total. Um, and within the miners, there's a competition, right? So you have competitions within competitions within competitions. So let's take a step back. How does it work? Well, in BitTensor, subnets are like independent startups inside a shared economy. Each subnet sets its own goals, for example, building the best decentralized storage provider or the most accurate medical image analyzer and competes for attention and rewards. The rewards come in Tau tokens, which is the currency of the network. Just like startups, they attract talent and resources from around the world with contributors joining in to improve the product and share in the success of it. Their performance is measured in real time and the best performing subnets earn more Tau. Together, these AI startups form a decentralized marketplace of innovation where the most useful ones, the most useful ideas and projects 
rise to the top without a central company running the show.